Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room, presented by Microsoft Surface. I'm Paul Dottino. He is Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. Now let's look at some plays from this past season featuring rookie right tackle Evan Neal. He was the seventh overall pick in the draft out of Alabama. He missed four games with a sprained knee in the middle of the season and tried to label through the rest of it. Now, Sean, we'll start with the run game because that's where he really excelled. Yeah, no doubt about it. Evan Neal is a powerful human being. He is large. Anybody that's met him in person, we stands up out of the chair. It's like he just keeps on going. Like you're waiting for him to stop. And listen, uh, like a lot of young tackles in the NFL, Evan Neal had an up and down rookie season. You mentioned the injuries. I mean, he was banged up. He fought through it, played through it. And look, he had some good moments. He had some learning moments, some teaching moments, uh, a lot like Andrew Thomas did his rookie year. So let's start with the run game and you will see the power that this young man brings to the table. All right, Evan Neal, here he is, right tackle. This is a run play right here and he's going to pull and kick out. Out. So he shows a little athleticism here, too. But I want you to just watch the power that he gets on this little defensive back right here. And Evan Neal, when he gets his hands on people, he's a people mover. I mean, look at that right there. That is highlight film right there. Just kind of throwing this guy out of the club right here. You can't wear jeans in this club. This is a fine establishment. I think Evan Neal, when, look at his hand. When his hands are inside, he's got this unbelievable lower body strength. And when his hands are inside, he's got a great punch. You can see it right here. This is the nastiness and the toughness that the Giants loved, and it's one of the reasons why they picked him seventh overall. So the run game, that's his bag, all right? That's where he's comfortable, he's confident. I'm going to show you another run play, Paul. It's all about movement at the point of attack, all right? This is, you know, what you'd call a, a combo block right here between Mark Lewinsky and Evan Neal. This, now, from a technique standpoint and a teaching standpoint, all right, Pat Flaherty, our legendary offensive line coach, one of the things that he used to always talk about was, Four hands on the down guy, four eyes on the linebacker, and get movement. Take this defense attack on, put him in the lap of the linebacker. Don't skinny through and try to get to the linebacker. Take care of that guy first. Get movement at the point of attack. This is where Evan Neal excels. Look at the movement right here on Jonathan Allen. All right, that's a Pro Bowl defensive tackle. Jonathan Allen is on one leg. All right, when you double team a defensive tackle, Paul, if you could get him like this, on one leg, all right, you've done a great job. Now all of a sudden, he can't have power on one leg. He can't hold up on that block. So get him on tilt, and then look, just walk him back into the linebacker. They only have to block this guy, because look at this linebacker. He's going to run into it. He's trying, he has to bubble over the back of this block right here, because Jonathan Allen's getting mopped up into his back. And then, of course, I love that they finish with Jonathan out on the ground. And anytime you have a double team and you can get that kind of movement and finish a guy like that, you're going to get positive yards in the run game. All right, now to the pass pro, Paul. And this is Evan Neal, right tackle over here. Now, the awareness factor. You can't just focus on your assignment. All right, he's got to block this guy. The awareness right now to know, all right, look at this defensive tackle. Look where he's lined up. This is the defensive tackle. Usually they're over here. He's in what we call a four eye. He's all the way out on the tackle. So what you do is you change your set. You make a more of a vertical set. You don't want to set out because then you're going to get picked with a twist here. So you set vertically and you leave your inside hand. It's almost called an inside stab. Watch Evan Neal right here, boom. All right, left hand inside stab, almost a chip helping out your right guard. You're not gonna sell him out, all right? He's also getting a little sideboard right here by Saquon, which helps. But that left hand right there, there's a lot of veteran tackles that struggle to do this. So the fact that he's got the power and the wherewithal to have that inside stab hand in case there's a twist, now I could take that over. But then right here, the lockout, look at those long arms. This is why they measure arms at the combine. And everybody gets giddy when they have 36 inch arms because you can lock a guy out like that, create that space and that separation. So mm -hmm. a really nice rep here by Evan Neal, great awareness. Um, I said it before, Evan Neal, I think he's a really talented young kid. And Paul, I think he's got Pro Bowl potential. One thing for sure, Sean, uh, during his rookie season, he learned how not to get called for holding. Zero holding penalties mm. against him as a rookie. That's good. Yeah, sometimes as an offensive lineman, Paul, you got to know when to just let go. One other thing to keep in mind, at Alabama, Neal spent one season each as a starter at left guard, at right tackle, and then at left tackle. Maybe this year he'll be able to settle in at that right tackle spot for the second straight year. That's a look at Evan Neal inside the film room presented by Microsoft Service.